How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to Cooking with Matty V. My name is Melvin. Tonight we're going to cook a fantastic Italian-American dish, and it's called shrimp scampi with spaghetti. Okay, let me put down my baguette. And I'll pick up my wine. Look, give me a second. All right, let's take a look at what we're going to be working with tonight. All right, let me move this down here. All right, we have a quarter stick of butter. And we're going to put that right in the pan. Okay. All right, that's rocking and rolling right now. Now, the rule to cooking with butter is you better add a little bit of olive oil. Because you don't want a brown butter. Okay? You want a light kind of butter. Second thing is we have two big cloves of garlic right in the pan. There we go. Okay. Third thing is we have shrimp because that's the name of the dish. Now the shrimp has been marinating in olive oil, lemon juice, and a little bit of salt for about a half an hour. Okay. Now let me talk to you about shrimp real quick. See, I, I saved one shrimp. I saved one shrimp because I'm going to teach you how to clean it. All right. First of all, here's the legs of the shrimp. So you got to make believe that the shrimp actually owes you about $600 plus the vig. So you walk up to the shrimp, you're two weeks late on the payment, you yank his legs off right there. Okay. And then you squeeze the tail a little bit and everything comes off perfectly. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add in our lemon juice. This is about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Okay. Put it back on the burner. All right. Let me get my, uh, get my spoon out. Everything looks pretty good. Now we're going to slide in our shrimp. Now here's the key to shrimp. Okay, when you're cooking shrimp, do yourself a favor. On the first side, you're going to cook the shrimp three quarters, and on the second side, you're going to cook it for a minute, and that's it. And it will not overcook. This particular shrimp is 2125, which means there are 21 to 25 pieces of shrimp per pound. Also, I want you to know I am cooking a dish for one. I like a lot of shrimp. Okay? So, if you want to cook a dish for two, just double the ingredients. Next up, we have a heavy pinch of crushed red pepper because I like, I like it a little spicy. There you go. Looks fantastic so far. Now we're going to turn our shrimp. I'm going to put my water up here so we can get going on the um, spaghetti. Tonight I'm using a thin spaghetti, which is a spaghetti number three. What does that mean? Regular spaghetti is a spaghetti number five. Tonight we're cooking a thin spaghetti. With this dish, you can use linguine, you can use regular spaghetti, you can use angel hair. Okay, all of my shrimp are turned, and those are going to be done pretty quick. Now I'm going to turn my heat up over here, because the next thing going in is going to be dry white wine. I personally love to use Pinot Grigio for my cooking wine. And here's another rule. If you're not going to drink it, don't cook with it. You know what that means, right? Okay. Let me tilt this up a little bit. We'll get into the pan. And that's...
that's beautiful. So I'm going to take my half a cup of dry white wine. Now, if you're cooking for two or three or four people, it's a full cup of white wine. There it goes. At this point, I'm going to say we're going to drop our spaghetti. Now, our spaghetti directions on the box says six minutes. This is a thin spaghetti. So uh, we're going to cook it for five, and then we're going to finish off the, the one extra minute in, in the sauce. So first, we have our boiling water. We have about three tablespoons of salt. And we drop our spaghetti. We set our timer. What did I say? Five minutes, right? All right. It's going. Always toss your pasta a little bit so it doesn't stick. Also, I am not going to use a strainer to drain this pasta because I might need a little bit of the pasta water in the recipe. Now, uh, next up, uh, we're going to be using flat Italian parsley. Here's another rule, okay? When you're going to be using any kind of herb on top of your dish, always introduce it to the pan early so it cooks down a little bit. That looks awesome. Where's my wine? I need my wine. Okay. Now this is all cooking down. We've got another three and a half minutes left on the pasta. <clears throat> the shrimp is fully cooked. We're ready to drop the pasta in. Remember, I got a little spice in there too. Okay? Got a little spice and it's going to be fantastic. I didn't take out my plate that I'm going to use tonight. I turn down the heat just enough to where this pan is sauteing at this point. This is going to be fantastic. I am very excited. How about a little more parsley in there? All right, there you go. Then I do have one more ingredient that I'm going to show you later. This is my freshly cut Italian breadcrumbs. It has a little bit of garlic, uh, fresh bread grated, a little parsley, and salt and pepper. And it's going to be amazing what I'm going to do with this later. We got 30 seconds left. Okay, I'm going to start pulling it out. I'm not going to drain it in a strainer because I really want a little bit more of that flavor in the sauce. Pasta water is a fantastic ingredient. A little bit more. There goes my timer, so I know I'm right on time. I shut that timer off. I don't like the beeping. Makes me kind of crazy. Now, what we're going to do in the right now is we're going to take a little bit of my seasoned breadcrumbs it adds a lot of flavor and it gives it a little kick I'm gonna get rid of my pot
Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you know, come on, guys. It's time for smell vision And I'm cooking down all of the liquid in the pan. Time to grab our plate. Oh, oh, look at the creaminess in that pasta. Add our shrimp. And how long did this take? How, uh, well, how long is this video? I mean, it's practically nothing. Shut all the burners off. Here we go. A little more flat leaf parsley, a little bit more breadcrumbs on top. Gotta make this look nice. Hold on a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the dish. That is a gorgeous dish of shrimp scampi with spaghetti. Thank you so much for helping me out, tuning in. I love all your comments. Throw a comment in there. I love all your thumbs up. Love that stuff. You guys have a great night. Thank you very much.